All right, guys, it's Thursday. Tomorrow's Friday, but today is Thursday, and I have three stories for you on a Thursday editorial. But to give you this this one, um, but uh, <clears throat> yeah, I'm going to have to talk fast because I've got three stories to give you for this editorial. So I talk fast, I work fast. If you guys want to follow me, you got to listen fast or something. Um, the Wolf. No, I'm not The Wolf. What movie? I talk fast, I work fast. The Wolf. What movie is that? Anyway, wow, what a beginning to my editorials. So I'm going to move on. This first one, everybody's talking about this. Everybody is talking about this one. I don't know. I, I, you know, I hate to say this, but I kind of think the woman was wrong on this one. <clears throat> um, you know, she was pulled over for a broken taillight. She got upset. She drove off. You don't do that on a traffic stop. Uh, when she was caught, she alleged she was alleged and actually charged with kicking the guy in the peanuts down below that's right the good old family jewels down south got a kicking and he tases her there's a video of this i've seen the video uh someone sent it to me on facebook um the video might be in the story below i'm going to put links to all of these down below in the description box and um but i've seen the video and she does give him a good old kicking and you see him double over on the body cam and then he tases her so an Oklahoma, an Oklahoma woman who was pulled over for a broken taillight refused to accept an $80 ticket and instead yelled at the officer, drove away from the scene, and later struggled with him, according to police body cam footage and court documents. The officer ended up firing his taser at the 65-year-old woman and ultimately handcuffed her on the ground. You did not have to taser me, the woman says afterward while sitting in the back seat of a police vehicle. The officer was quoted as saying, you wouldn't comply, you wouldn't get out, and then you tried to kick me. So, yes, I did. The country girl says, yeah, I tried to kick you because I'm a country girl. Because, no, I don't like being thrown on the floor. Or, and she does say that in the video. You watch the video, she does say, yeah, I tried to kick you because I'm a country girl. So, he said, you tried to kick me. She says, yeah, I tried to kick you. Listen to this. Listen to this. The woman, Deborah Hamill, now faces a charge of misdemeanor resisting arrest while she drove off, as well as a felony charge of battery or assault and battery on a police officer for allegedly kicking him in the groin, according to Kingfisher County documents. She has pleaded not guilty for allegedly kicking him in the groin. He said, you tried to kick me. She said, yeah, I tried to kick you. So if there's no connection, is it then battery and assault if there's no connection or is it attempting to is that just simply resisting arrest if there's no connection so she should use that as a defense and say you know what there is a video i think below this is a video huh anyway um <clears throat> but yeah i mean so he says she tried he she tried she says she tried but she's being charged with actually doing it i don't know Police body cam video of the July 16th incident in Cashion, Oklahoma. Where's that from you guys, you Oklahoma cop watchers? Cashion, Oklahoma was provided to CNN affiliate KOCO. Cashion police did not respond to a request for comment, <clears throat> citing department policy not to comment on cases in which criminal charges are pending. Hamill did not respond to several requests for comment via text voicemail and email it's not clear whether she has a lawyer she made her initial court appearance on july 17th her next court appearance is scheduled for august 27th so there you go i watched that video oh my god it's a great one deborah hamill appears to kick the officer in the groin during the rest police body cam video shows um <clears throat> she was pulled over for a broken taillight he says you know in the video you've been driving around like this for six months I'm not giving you a warning for something you've been driving around for six months. And then she's like, I don't deserve, I don't think I deserve an $80, you know, ticket for something that's fixable. And they go back and forth and then she drives off. <clears throat> um, but there's more to the story. If you go down below, there's a whole bunch of, uh, she yells, leave me alone in that um, you guys have to read it. That's that, If you don't read any other story, well, that's the one you have to go to. So I wanted to bring that one to you. That's Cashion, Oklahoma. 65-year-old woman pulled over for a broken taillight. Flees, is caught, kicks her leg out, falls on the ground, gets tased. There you go. Uh, 
moving on to the next one, we're going to go to San Francisco. We're going a little bit more west here. And uh, it's another one, police versus dog. I want to see how you guys feel about this in the comment section below. But a San Francisco police officer has shot a dog or shoots a dog near Westfield Mall. <clears throat> Now, the police in San Francisco on Wednesday, that was yesterday, shot a dog in the area of 5th and Market Streets near the Westfield Shopping Center, the police department has confirmed. The dog, reportedly a pit bull, if it's a pit bull, they're always like, it's a pit bull, it's a pit bull, it's mean. You know, and I was in animal control, 85 to 90% of the pit bulls we picked up were, the, the only thing you'd get hurt by is their tongue as they lick you to death. Uh, that was most of the pit bulls we picked up. They were just friendly as hell. Uh, but the dog, reportedly a pit bull that was unleashed, was showing aggressive behavior. He may have even wanted to play. I don't know. Or maybe he was aggressive. Who knows? And charged at an officer, police said. The officer retreated and fired on the dog, injuring it. Now, mind you, the owner is in the area. The dogs will protect their owners. The owner may have been getting arrested. You'll see why in this story. The dog was taken to the hospital by San Francisco Animal Care and Control Officers where it had to be euthanized. Witnesses reported police arrested the dog's owner at the scene and video showing officers leading a man away in handcuffs. Here's what I want you to listen to. The incident is not considered an officer-involved shooting but rather a weapons discharge, a police spokesman said. Officers are continuing to investigate, according to police. It was not an officer-involved shooting. It was a weapons discharge. Well, it was just a dog. Just a dog. Come on. Just a pit bull. Just an animal. What? That pisses me off right there. That it was not an officer involved shooting. It was just a weapons discharge. Bang! Oh, ho, ho. weapon went off. Oh, the bullet hit the dog. That pisses me off. And I'm telling you why. Because I'm reading into that. And if I'm reading it too much into it, let me know. But in my thought process, I'm thinking that they are saying, it was just a dog. Come on. It's just an animal, dude wasn't a person that's what i'm thinking they're saying am i right or am i wrong let me know but that pisses me off so there you go another dog shot by a cop <laughs> it seems like dogs now are as in much fear for their lives from cops as people are what's going on man so let's go to the third story moving on <clears throat> got to close this up i know i make these long but we're doing three today so hang with me Following another water incident, there was another water incident. Assemblyman proposed a law making disrespecting police in New York a felony. Somebody, remember the uh, they threw all the water balloons and drenched the police officers? Well, there's been another one. The most recent incident in Queens has compelled lawmakers to announce a new bill that cracks down on anyone who disrespects the badge. CBS is too... CBS 2's Natalie Dudridge reported. This comes to us from CBS 2 in New York. Police are on the hunt for a person caught on camera throwing water at traffic cops. And he's like, does this with his water bottle and all the water is coming out. You can see in the picture here in the story below. Um, but he was caught on camera throwing water at traffic cops who are just doing their jobs on a corner of Woodhaven. There have been at least four separate cases in recent weeks of citizens showing contempt for officers, prompting some fed up lawmakers to say enough is enough. They want anyone who does it to go to jail. I kind of agree. No, look, I know you guys hate there are people watching my videos that hate cops and they say there's no good cops. Cops are bad, yada, yada. But throwing water at cops, that's assault. I'm sorry, but we can't throw water at each other because we'd get charged. If somebody walked up and hit you in the head with a water balloon and said, fucker, and walked off, you'd go, hey, you know what? That's assault. You know you would. How many of our cop watchers or First Amendment auditors holding their camera out and somebody pushes their camera and they go, that's assault, that's battery. I'm calling the police. I'm going to do a citizen's arrest for battery. So when people are throwing water balloons at cops... Guys, we're all about accountability and transparency. It's assault. 
But there is something I want to bring out. Listen, don't don't hang up yet, guys. Stay on the phone with me here. There have been at least four separate cases. We went that. Police are looking for the man who was captured on video blatantly tossing bottled water at two NYPD traffic enforcement agents in Queens as he records it on his cell phone. The incident happened last week at 86th Street and Jamaica Avenue, man. That is very disrespectful, one New Yorker told Dudridge. Woodhaven resident Jose Cancela added, quote, he's just walking away thinking it's all right to do that and it's not right to do that to anybody, not just the cops. Yeah, he can't do that to anybody. That's assault. It was the latest incident targeting members of the police department. Earlier this month in Harlem, officers were drenched while trying to make an arrest. A bucket was even thrown at their heads, and in Brooklyn, water was dumped on officers as they calmly walked away. But authorities implored police not to stand for it, and now two New York lawmakers want to make disrespecting officers a more serious crime. They're looking at making it a felony. We will not wait until these attacks spread like wildfire, said Assemblyman Mike Lepetri, uh, Republican from Long Island. This time it's water. What's next? Gasoline? Acid? Um, skimming down through here. It's a really long story. You can go read it if you want. Um, <clears throat> but here's what I, but I was getting to something here. Our police officers, Riley said, who I don't know. Somewhere there's uh, Riley. Oh, Michael Riley, Republican from Staten Island, says our police officers are being targeted for harassment and even assault while doing their job. This is the direct result of political grandstanding from politicians like Mayor de Blasio, who've done absolutely nothing to foster police community relations and instead spread an inflammatory anti-cop rhetoric just to score a few points. And he's commenting on something there in the story you can go read it but i wanted to get you to that where he says done absolutely nothing to foster police community relations in the description box below i've put a link to a documentary on hulu it's called community plus punishment or crime plus punishment i'm sorry not community crime plus punishment crime plus punishment it's in the description box below it's a link to that documentary on hulu uh the link is to internet movie database you can go to imdb and check it out and read it there um i don't know if it's still on hulu or not but if you can get a hold of that documentary um watch it because they're complaining and they're crying about NYPD community police relations. You watch that documentary, you'll know why the people in New York are pissed off. I'm not condoning or justifying throwing water on the police or throwing water balloons. That's assault. I'm sorry, but you break the law. Come on, guys. You know, let's at least if we're going to be activists and, and have police accountability and police transparency, let's at least not break the law. Okay, and I know sometimes we get accused of breaking the law when we didn't break the law, of course, but let's try that. Let's try not breaking the law. So, <clears throat> but uh, that aside, there's a reason these people are pissed off. There's a reason these people hate the cops. There's a reason these people cannot stand the police. And if you watch that documentary, Crime Plus Punishment, go watch that documentary. You will see why these people are pissed off. You want to talk police community relations? Have the NYPD train their officers on community relations first. So, and I'm talking nationwide here. If you want to build community relations, stop the bullying. Okay, stop intimidating people because you have a badge on your chest and you say, well, people are supposed to listen to police officers. Yeah, when you're enforcing the law that's being broken, when you're actually, when you have somebody that's a lawbreaker, somebody that you should have authority over, if you have somebody that's obeying the law, that's not doing anything wrong, you don't have authority over that person because they're not breaking the law. You're, you're trying to be a law enforcement officer on somebody that's not even breaking the law. See, this isn't a fascist country. We're not under a dictatorship. This is still a democracy as far as I know. And the police are not like the Gestapo. They're like the police. I know people hate that uh, comparison. But sometimes cops act like that. They act like the Gestapo. Well, you listen to me because I'm a cop and you're under my authority. You're under my thumb. No, I'm not. Only when I'm breaking the law, and right now I'm not. 
And that's what I'm talking about. This documentary, if you watch it, they actually do that. They use intimidation and bullying to target certain neighborhoods and certain peoples in that documentary. Go watch it. It's really good. That's why the people in New York are pissed off. News Now, Yukaipa. I got to go, guys. I'm out of time. But I'm bringing to you what's going on in your law enforcement across the nation. Let me know what you guys think. I hope you've enjoyed this. Thank you. Good morning. Good Thursday. Sorry it's so long, but... Hey, I don't know what I'm going to say now. Have a great Thursday, guys. I'll talk to you tomorrow.